Christina Raskin here with Soul Thrive Yoga to talk about samadhi. Samadhi is the eighth limb of yoga, and it's talked about a lot in the Yoga Sutras, an ancient text of yoga philosophy. The Yoga Sutras give us so much wisdom and so many tools that are really applicable to daily life. Now, samadhi is something that is really the final destination, if you will, for a yogi. Now, what is a yogi? We're often using this term these days in an inappropriate way. Uh, yogi really means somebody who's committed themselves to a spiritual teacher, a guru, committed themselves to the spiritual life where they are working towards samadhi. Samadhi being enlightenment or connection to spirit, connected to their divine being at all times, transcending the human plane. Most of us that are practicing yoga these days, including myself, are not working towards samadhi. We are what would be called householders, not yogis. We're householders. So we live in the modern day world. We have husbands and kids and jobs. It doesn't mean that we can't practice yoga. And we can also have a guru. We can also have a spiritual practice. In fact, we should have a spiritual practice uh, if you're doing yoga, because that is part of what yoga is. Um, but it means that we're not working towards full samadhi. And samadhi actually has 10 different layers to it. It's quite complex, but there's these different layers that you move through and eventually you're connected and, and working from that place instead of from your human existence. Um, and as I mentioned, this may not be something that you want to work towards at all, which is totally fine. At one point in my life, I thought I would move and live in an ashram and work towards that. I chose not to because I wanted to have kids and that would be a householder's life. Now I've ended up not having kids, uh, but I still want to have the householder life. And there's nothing wrong with that. Using yoga, it even says in the Yoga Sutras, using yoga for you in ways that help you. It's not dogmatic. It's not you have to do it this way. There's right, wrong, good, bad. It's just here's a tool. This might help you. And if it does, use it. It says that yoga is not for the people who have no interest in spirituality. It's not for the people who have no interest in more connection. It's also not for the people who have that connection already. Some people are totally connected and don't need a pathway towards it. Yoga is for people in the middle who have interest in spirituality, who want to have more connection and peace, who want to be more present in their lives, and they want a pathway and a journey towards that. It's not the only pathway. Yoga also says that. There are many different pathways towards this connection. Um, and whichever way works for you is the way that works for you. It's your path. It's your journey. And I at Soul Thrive Yoga, here all of us, we like to share some tools that might help you. And if these little signposts help you on your journey to guide you in some way, that is beautiful. I've had people put those signposts down for me, all of my teachers that have guided me. Um, and this path of yoga has brought me so much joy and resiliency to work through challenging times in my life that we want to share that and offer that to you as well. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. I'm always here to chat. I could talk about yoga forever until I'm blue in the face. So you're never bothering me. Just reach out and we will talk. We'll, we'll reach back out and we'll communicate with you and answer all of your questions.